Let's bring in the ANC NEC member now, uh, Nomvula Mukonyani. Uh, Ms. Mukonyani, I hope you can hear me now. Uh, condolences uh, to you. This is a man that you worked with closely. He wasn't just a friend, uh, a comrade, but he was also family. Thank you very much, Clement. And uh, once more, condolences to the family and the comrade, Jeff. Um, the ANC family in Tobek. And the entire community of Gauteng that has lost uh, a leader and a, a, an activist who still had uh, so much to do. Um, and I spoke to Jeff on my birthday, on the 28th. Mm. Um, I'm on self-isolation, and uh, he was actually coaching me, yeah. encouraging me to stick to the advisors by doctors and take my medicines. And um, him, together with comrades in Genke, uh, actually called and they gave me all the ideas of how to survive this pandemic, this, uh, this virus. And uh, post that, amongst other things that we're talking about, just now recently, before he went back to hospital, was about the organizational work in the, in the region of Johannesburg. And he was quite keen to see branches of the ANC going through the selection processes in a manner that uh, will accommodate the will of the people. Mm. And um, unfortunately, we had to enter this level, and all the plans that they had together with his REC had to be put on hold. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I heard that he was in hospital. Yeah. And mm -hmm. today he's no more. Um, he calls me Khaitsedi. Um, he grew up under my own words. We shared trenches. I appreciated his energy and uh, his passion to do organizational work and be amongst young people. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeff never ceased to be a youth leader. Um, Jeff never ceased to be a community activist. Mm. And uh, like I said, um, once I got uh, my results, amongst others, those that actually motivated me was him. I spoke to Mbalula, I spoke to Nkenke, and many other people, the GSG. Mm. And on my birthday, he called. And yeah, he didn't send a message, he called. Yeah. And Kai said he drove a sharp. And yeah, I think it's going to be fine. It's still not fine to lose Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what are some of your fondest memories, uh, Ms. Mukunyane? Um, you've indicated that you, you know, work together uh, in the ANC from branch level. Um, what is it that we don't know about him? Because, you know, we normally know you guys as politicians, you know, from that advantage of us as being journalists, members of the public listening. But what would you say are some of the characteristics that you really admire about him? What, what can you share with us? His, his, his ability to balance uh, his political responsibility against being an ordinary man of a family, a father, a brother. Um, Jeff, Jeff loved to, to help people. Um, and uh, he would forever say, And when he says that, he will not be doing it as a mayor. He'll be doing it as a chef, um, going an extra mile, um, and and being able also to assist Liko Hai, Ha Hai. Mm -hmm. So you know what? The committee lay on doing one, two, three, four. Um, and the most profound one also is that he was a God-fearing person. Mm -hmm. he, he was a God-fearing person. Um, and, and he was very sensitive about uh, having to be somebody who's closer to God in everything that he, that he, he did. 
Um, I remember when uh, we, he was still the regional treasurer of, uh, of Johannesburg, and we had uh, an activity of uh, celebrating the life of Nelson Mandela, and um, we had the clergy. And they were all surprised about how Jeff actually took to the podium and, uh, and, and contextualized the, the life of Nelson Mandela as, a, as an apostle. Yeah. Um, and by the time the ceremony ended, all of them were saying, no, he must be recruited to become a pastor. And he said, no, to Mudumedi. He was a believer. Yeah, thank you for making yeah. time. And once thank again, you. condolences, ANC, yeah. NEC member, Nomvula Mokonyani there. Uh, let's now bring in the city of Joburg spokesperson, Emily Mandela, and Damasa, who's worked closely with the mayor of Johannesburg. Emily Mandela, thank you so much for making time. Uh, condolences to you. Uh, this is the man that you worked with every single day. You spoke on behalf of the mayor. You spoke on behalf of his administration. Um, how are you doing? How is the family doing? Well, good afternoon, Clement. Uh, uh, it's quite uh, a very difficult moment. Uh, I think it's a moment of great sadness. Uh, it's a moment of great shock. Uh, it's a moment of profound devastation. Uh, losing Mayor Makubu, especially at this time, given that he had lent himself to lead uh, the efforts of the city against this particular virus. Even when we officially entered what has now been termed the third wave, mm -hmm. he led this offensive with his boots on until the very last moment. And uh, I must say that uh, his passing has come as a great shock. It was rather unexpected. We had all hoped that he would recover and resume his duties as the executive mayor of this great city of Johannesburg, which he so loved and dedicated himself to. But unfortunately, uh, it was not to be. Mm. When last did you talk to him? I think the last communication you had given us was um, he's still in hospital. He had gone to hospital a couple of days ago. Uh, when last did you, did you have a chat with him? Well, the executive mayor, uh, we spoke to him uh, throughout his time in hospital. Mm. He remained active on his phone. He was continuously chatting to us on WhatsApp uh, until a particular time when we also started harboring concerns that he was more focused uh, on the work of the city than his own recovery. Mm. And we had to create interventions to take from him his devices mm. because what one would realize is that waking up in the morning, you'd receive his normal messages that would ordinarily come from him from 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, asking about issues in the city, following up on activities and issues he had requested us to attend. So till the last moment, we, we really communicated, and uh, till the last moment, he was really concerned about how the city and its residences were responding to the third wave of COVID-19. Mm. Obviously, there are other things that have to be attended to. You've indicated in your statement, the statement that was released by the city of Johannesburg earlier, that there's now an acting mayor of Johannesburg. Yes, well, the acting mayor has been there uh, since the mayor was hospitalized. Uh, she continues in that role, okay. and uh, the acting mayor, together with the speaker of council, Mm. will later be able to make all the necessary announcements with regards to process and procedure. Obviously, this is an eventuality that is not common, and it obviously requires that whilst we exercise uh, all the caution in making sure that the work of the city is not disrupted, but at the same time, we are able to pay respects and to honor uh, this particular individual who gave so much of himself to the residents and the city of Johannesburg. Yeah, Mliman Lela Damasa, thank you so much for making time. And uh, we're wishing you, we're wishing the family of the late mayor, we're wishing his friends, his comrades strength during this difficult time.